The best doctor is by listening to your body. What's up, fasters? If you are new here and are looking for fasting tips and tricks, and we talk about all different types of fasting, whether it be water fasting, dry fasting, intermittent fasting, prolonged fasting, or the detoxification videos, then consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any other future videos that we do here. All right, so let's get right into the video. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why it's important to listen to your body. I'm gonna talk about five different ways of why you should listen to your body when it comes to fasting. The first one is that your body can actually tell you how long you should do a fast for. It can tell how long you really need to start breaking your fast because you'll get certain symptoms of feeling that overwhelming hunger when you do a prolonged fast, whether it be three, four days of doing a water fast or five, six, it depends. You just really need to listen to your body. When you start feeling really overly hungry, the body's kind of reached its limit. And so that's when it's really good to kind of list your body. The other thing is, of course, when you might have other symptoms that might be an issue, and that's when you really need to list your body. So that goes to my reason number two. And that is your body will give off symptoms that you should simply just not ignore at all. And so some common symptoms that you should really not ignore for the most common ones, of course, going to be headaches, nausea, feeling lightheaded, but some more even severe ones is hitting that low blood sugar level, especially for people who might have a tendency to be hypoglycemic. Uh, definitely really want to listen to your body on that because you can have a tendency to have hot, low blood sugar when you are doing fasting. So it just really depends. You really need to listen to your body. Other things that you should look out for is if you have heart palpitations that are constantly going, you need to really kind of start cutting back, really listening to your body. Sometimes even very severe abdominal pain can be an issue, but really when these things happen, you need to be listening to your body and realize, okay, it's time to really cut back off of the fast. Now, reason number three is knowing what your body is asking for, because if you know what your body is asking for while you're fasting, you can increase your fasting results and probably increase your prolonged time when you're fasting. And so what I mean by this is if you are getting some subtle symptoms, so it might be maybe having a little lightheadedness, headaches, you cannot, instead of just breaking your fast completely, it's possible that your body just needs a little bit more electrolytes, or you might need to supplement electrolytes while you're fasting so you can prolong that time so you don't have to completely break off the fast. Or maybe take a break from doing water fasting and move over to maybe doing juice fasting for a day or so, or even doing a liquid fast, which is gonna to have to do with more like bone broths, veggie broths, things that kind of incorporate a little bit more electrolytes. Now for you experienced fasters that are looking at more people who are doing dry fasting, so maybe if you're doing a dry fast for a day and you want to kind of extend it a little bit and you're realizing, oh, I can't really do this, so instead of just breaking the fast, doing a little bit of water fast for maybe a day or so and then going back and doing a dry fast. So these are some kind of tips and tricks that you can do for listening to your body when you're depending on what type of fast that you're doing. The fourth reason is that you really need to understand that your body needs training and you don't just throw it into a fighting pen when it comes to fasting. So for people who are just starting to do fasting, you don't wanna just go right into doing an extensive long fast. You need to listen to your body as you're starting to do like intermittent fasting, see how well you do with that, then moving on to doing maybe a 24, 36 hour water fast, seeing how well you do that, and seeing if you could prolong that, but listening to your body at all times. Understand it is a training process, and your body needs that before you can become an experienced faster. Now the fifth and final reason of why you should really listen to your body is to learn from all those experiences that I've talked about, the four other reasons, is to learn from that, gain from that, knowledge that you can gain from your body by listening to your body so that you can prepare for not getting those types of symptoms so you can actually prolong your fast, get better results. So really understanding that concept can really help you. And some examples, you know, for, my, for me personally, when I try to listen to my body and see how extensive I can do fast. So just recently, you know, I've been trying to do a little bit longer dry fast just for, because I've been doing water fasting for, oh, since I was like, you know, a teenager. So it's been quite some time since I've done lots of water fasting and even a little bit of dry fasting, as well as a lot of intermittent fasting. But I'm always trying to switch up things. I'm always trying to trick the body, trying to see what I can do. And it's what's important is to listen to your body. So what I do is listen to my body, because I will get still headaches here and there with when I'm fasting. So I understand, okay, maybe I need to do a little bit of a liquid 
bone broths and veggie broths, or it might be that if I'm doing a dry fast, might be due for a day if I'm starting to get really lightheaded and get headaches to do some water beforehand. But more importantly is the prepare time. And so that's what I'm talking about in the fifth step is the prepare time. So trying to eat more wholesome foods, trying to eat more vegetables, trying to decrease on carbs. In fact, it really is even, and I talked about this in my last video and I'll go ahead and leave a card up here about how I talked about research in with Ramadan and women where they found that actually during their dry fasting periods that really what they found is that the oxidization for fats was higher versus carbs were not as high. They were actually became decreased. So you can see that just the foods that you consume, that's why people who do the keto diet do really well with fasting and intermittent fasting and even dry fasting for those experts that are out there that do that. But really trying to understand that if you kind of eat more of a healthier fats, vegetables versus and trying to decrease on the carbs if, for preparing for doing long term fast and just doing fast in general, that will help you. And it's helped me a lot when I just try to focus on before I'm doing a fast, try to eat good foods, healthy fats. And then, of course, when I'm breaking the fast, same thing. You want to make sure you're tell ending it with both healthy fats, vegetables and same way when you're breaking it. So if you do those things, then you'll find by the next time that you're actually going to do a fast, a long-term fast, then you'll be able to not have as much of those symptoms. But this all, again, it really depends on each person. I know you guys ask how long, all these kind of different questions. You are your expert. You become your doctor. The best doctor is by listening to your body. Be able to listen to your body. You should know yourself best and by understanding that and just keeping, if it, you need to do a fasting journal, by just recording what kind of symptoms you had when you did this and you experimented doing this. It just all really depends. It's just trying to fine tune you as an individual to see what works best for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And then of course, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up, share with your family and friends. And then if you have not subscribed to our channel and want more tips on fasting, go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here. And then I will leave some other links here for you to watch if you've missed any of our other videos. Until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Thanks. Bye.